Hi folks, so I've gone back to acrylic for this one. Uh, here's the palette, I can't show you the palette because it's rather large and there's no room either side with my setup so that you can see it. So I'll just talk you through it. So we've got um, cadmium yellow, yellow ochre, cadmium red, ultramarine, and uh, some burnt sienna. I don't count the, the paint spray as a colour. So we've got one, two, three, four, five colours to do our landscape. I have no idea what I'm going to do. I should put the sky in. Uh, I was thinking of doing a knife painting, but this is on, on quite thick cartridge paper. A friend gave me some, I came from college, that she, when she was doing her degrees, and you know, I'll roll it. It's about four foot by, well, oh, that, that's the width of it. But it's about, I'm just looking at it a bit now, this bit. It's about, um, I would say 200 pounds, 200 grams per square metre, 200 grams, something like that. It's, it's heavier than 160 gram. So I just hope it doesn't buckle too much. I've just got it to sort of, to sort of grow in there. Right, okay, so I'm not using any medium other than a bit of water, just a spread. So we'll, we'll get a, uh, try for an abstract sky. Uh, okay, a bit of blue, a bit of, bit of plain sky, lump of white. We we'll work fast, but you don't want to overwork each passage because if you stay on one bit too long, it will peel. The paper will disengage from itself. So just uh, cut the canvas and have a bit of a bit of that. A bit of that's a Taylor Rowney colour. This one. Have a bit of red in it. A bit of blue. See what we uh, come up with. Ooh, I quite like that. The burnt sienna is a Taylor Rowney. It's very old, so I. Like using it up and the painting I did yesterday was using up the paint from well I still didn't use it all from uh, uh, Monday's uh, or yeah Monday's painting the one I did just no, the one I did yesterday was just using up the paint and I made sort of a mixed bag of uh, Is um, well, you was <laughs> it's had plenty of uh, yays and nays because it, I did a sort of an orangey yellowy sky that I, I made up as I went along. All right, let's get this all down here. Now, the paint of the uh, sun is just shiny, but the sun's quite high you now, so it shouldn't do it. To, uh, oh, I hope we need some paint scrape here. So paint scrape, a bit of red, a bit of white. A bit of blue in there. Loads of different colours there. We're just trying to, going to make a sort of a, a landscape that um, is or isn't, if you know what I mean. Right, let's get the, uh, get the light colours in here over the darks. All right. Now, when I finish with this, I will let it dry, which won't take very long. Then I, I will uh, go over it with a uh, a layer of PVA glue, which I've got in uh, my little bottle. Right, I'm going to have to 
probably cut the blind. Right, okay, that should do. So that would be surface to sort of to write to work on. I've got one painting here, I'm just thinking about, this is an oil painting I did, I think Monday, maybe or Saturday. Um, it's, uh, it's oil on canvas paper, but I'm thinking of um, doing some glazing on it, but it's got to be dry for that, and it's not quite dry. Um, and glazing, I used to glaze when I do my Venice paintings, the water, just to change the uh, tone lighter tone uh, but on Tuesday when we went on our bike ride it was freezing cold I need lost my fingers uh, I decided I don't normally work after all on the Tuesday I'm too knackered uh, but the fog was hovering over the uh, Ravensbury Park Lake and the Wandle the river and oh over the wetlands where the boardwalk is it was just beautiful and if and I would like to, to change some of the tones on here and see how I can get on. And the sun was coming out ab above the fog, and when eventually the fog disappeared, and my fingers warmed up after the nice cup of tea. The cafe now, the cafe is very interesting. Um, the cafe in Merton Abbey Mills, there is a mill there that's still still working, uh, and uh. It, 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 it takes enough uh, energy from the Wandle, there's a, a, a mill race there, but uh, the, the water authorities take a lot of water out of the Wandle these days. Uh, of course the growing population and so on. And it, it provides enough energy for the lighting in the pottery. Now a friend who lives not far away from here, uh, has a, a, makes pottery in his garden, but lovely, lovely pottery, and he he uh, sells it in the in the mill, which is a lovely, lovely thing to do. And the cafe, the water mill, water wheel cafe, is obviously now the whole area is preserved. Um, as a sort of a living museum to William Morris, who made. Uh, lots of uh, designs for fabrics and wallpapers and so on in the factories there but the factories not, not as we know them these would work work houses of sort of uh hand doing uh silk screen i don't know uh, but it's a lovely place it's even pub named after the william morris from william morris and the buildings are still there well we have we when we're doing the ride we we stop there before we come back and um, have a nice sharing with great friends so i'm going to probably do something about the wetlands there if i can i'm going to use these old brushes now these old varnish brushes somebody asked me where i got them from well i think well these are pro art you can get them on ebay hog varnish one inch pro art they don't last forever, but they become lovely brushes to, to do stipple and stuff with. I'm waiting for this to just to dry off. I don't want to I'm, I'm, take the paint off of the paper. Uh, and I got my last three from uh, Curtis Ward, but the bristles were just a bit longer than I would have liked. But you have to take what you can get. They're Chinese made, I'm sure. But they're, they're very good. Right, so okay, so let's uh, do some a bit of stipple. For that, we'll use uh, paint spray a bit. Of... Bit of paint spray on that. Winter trees. Got lots of these. 
it's a sort of a lovely background and there's one big tree well a couple of big trees that are in here just above all, all the rest that are on the uh, horizon Oh, we've got all this going across here. I'll put some green in because there is some green. And we're standing on the boardwalk and over the marsh grasses and a pond. But I'm just trying to make this different to what I've done before. I will probably use a rigger on that just to put in a bit of uh, texture even though know, we don't say detail it's texture a bit of green let's have a bit of red blue yellow sorry I can't show you this the mixture is mixing uh, the three colours see red yellow and blue Now you want, um, if you're doing something like that on the horizon, you, the, it's going to have a grass area, you need to put it, counter change against a dark colour, otherwise you'll lose your values. And there's nobody walking across here, but behind here are houses. You wouldn't think so, but... Uh, put those up. It's a colour in it. Right, let's get some of my dark in there. My dark is just the blue, red, and yellow. And a bit of green. Don't want to spend a lot of time on this. I'm going to go and let my son's dog out. Right. Just add a bit more shape to these. Just a mass of trees without leaves on. Right, okay, that'll do for that. Let's uh... now we're going up the hill a bit there. We'll make a change from going down here. Uh, so there are trees, like a scrubby trees in here in the marsh grass. Uh, right, okay, so let's uh, get a bit of burnt sienna and a lump of white, a touch of yellow, and uh, we'll. Uh, Catching the the sun, such as it was. Oh, it was cold, my word. I couldn't feel my fingers when I took my leather gloves off on one of our many stops on the way. We're only, it's only 16 miles from me here and back. But it's a very lovely 16 miles because we've got all these, the river, we've got the Ravensbury Park, with the where the river's wider because the owners of the land Oh, a century or two ago, widened it to make a fish larder, which was a great idea. 
There's a plenty of fish on it at the moment, even though most of our rivers are badly polluted by the water authorities. So, well, there's something's got to be done about this. Oh, all dead easy. Uh, right, that, uh, that's nearly dry. I'll, I've, I've got to put some twiggy things up here in Payne's Grey. Uh, oh, that's a bit of greeny. When you, if you've got loads of colours on your palette, you don't know what to use. You make a rod for your own back if you're sort of beginner or just starting out, and or or advanced. If you if you overcomplicate things, if you have too many colours, you'll use them all, and you could end up with a right old mess. I'm only using five colours. Got a bit of Payne's grey. Let's get. Uh, we want a bit of uh, mauvey stuff now, mixing with the general mix. This is the pond, believe it or not. Dark, sort of a brownie colour down here. The stalks of the grass, the marsh grass, it's all being cut back. Oh, let's put a bit of a green bush in somewhere. Bit of white with that, yellow, I think. It's not a great yellow. Well, I got a bit of dark green. A bit of paint spray for that. Makes it easy. Just a little bit of a texturing in the grasses. Oh, that's a lovely, lovely case. See, with oh, just three colours, you can get a whole range of, of secondary colours. Well, I'll put a bit of water in there. Right, let's get some of that grey. Try to get some of that colour in the water and we can make that into water by dragging shadows down or dragging the, uh, the stalks, the basic stalks. Just put that out a little bit. Don't like that, that's gone wrong, isn't it? So we'll, uh, we'll paint that out.
That's probably just a bit of paper. Not put any fog, I could put some foggy bits in. Right, okay, let's, let's go away from that. Well, let's go a bit more white on this uh, bit here. Right, we got. Where's my rigger? Oh, I do have several riggers. Uh, I do think I can find one of them. I don't want to use Frank Clark's rigger because that's the watercolour brusher. Huh? I'll use this one. It's a bit of water. Uh, the paint's grey, mix in with the green, and just uh, see what happens. No, it's weird, this one's worn out. I will have to press it there and find. Oh, it's quite old now. A bit like me. Uh, right, where is this brush? Where's on here? Oh, here we go. This is the last one I bought. But it still gives good service, but make sure you really clean your your brushes very very not conscientious, perhaps. Uh, You put your water when you do this and get your, your brush to a chisel edge. Uh, let's uh, take that out. I'm going to have to go over some of this.
Oh, I'm just going to clean the brush. Uh, take one out. Oops. Make sure when you take your brushes, because you should be keeping them in water, otherwise they'll dry. But if you leave them in the water for a long time, or for quite a time, like minutes, the ferrules here, the metal bit, will fill up with water. And you go and do something like that and the water's everywhere. So make sure you get all the water out of that bit of the brush. Right, okay, now let's get it. A bit of, bit of, Just want to just just tone that down a little bit. Get some more on there. I've got to get some uh, foreground there, then we'll forget I won't be uh, doing any woodwork around here. That's not what I'm trying to do. So we've got some uh, some brighter stuff on that horizon. Get some marsh grassy stuff in here. Some, 
some of this texture. A bit, of, a little bit of misty stuff on there. Okay, well, I'm going to just put a bit, a bit of uh, texture in the background, a little bit of uh, wood. Right, let's put a mount on that. What's that there? Ooh. Put a couple of birds in. <coughs> well, I've I pushed the bottom bit. But, uh, Let's uh, get the mount. Now that should cover because this is uh, 16 by 12 or more or less. 16 by 12 instead of 15 by 11, which would be the usual one. There we are. So we've got we've got a sort of foggy area. I oh, will make of it what you will. Uh, uh, maybe I should just see where we start fiddling around. Is to just bring some of that connects that up a bit, a little bit of that, a bit of this. Just set out a little bit. Right, okay, that's all I'm going to do. Uh, I'll get this uploaded for you folks and I hope you like it. I'll return to... Uh, oh, let's give it a signature. Why not? It's not bad at all. Uh, bit of red.
Oh, well, that's good enough. Right, okay, folks, there you are. It's a, a foggy, misty, freezing cold day. Uh, memory. Bye-bye.